Good afternoon. One fifty one PM four twenty two twenty eighteen. It's raining at Palm de Terre Lake area. I worked on this the better part of today and it came to me last night and I will leave that in the more section beneath the player screen. This video is dedicated actually to the Westboro power tripping sex fetish people. What? Sex fetish people? You got it. You got it. Okay, long story short, and it will be in the description because I already typed it. I'm just saving it back. Last week, <clears throat> I asked angels to put into my fingertips what to type. I know to some of you that sounds way out there. All right. But I did. I asked um, more than once, actually. Maybe even more than twice. I'm not real sure. But then it came to me this morning after I watched MASH last night. Normally I watch ID. Okay. But these people, this congregation, a Baptist church, no less. A lot of you have heard about them and heard about them until you're sick of hearing about them. And, you know, just to see anything about them makes, makes you angry because of what they do. But in 2013, now I don't know if that's when they started this or not. Uh, this person that's no longer with them that quit their church uh, recalled a picket at a Walter Reed Army Medical Center where signs church members carried stated thank God for crippled soldiers okay so the angels put into my fingers to search for medical fetishes. I believe that the signs are a decoy. The signs in the hate speech are a decoy from the underlying problem. Okay? Their underlying problem is they have a whole lot of sex fetishes that involve and connect to hospitals in general, but veterans hospitals, because that's up a level, it's federal, okay? And people can't, are not supposed to, the, the one, most recent one I was at, well, it wasn't an actual VA hospital, it was a VA care home, but it was connected to the VA hospital, okay? Sign on the outside that no firearms were permitted, okay? I don't know if that holds true for other hospitals, okay? So maybe that's why they like VA hospitals to torture people and attack their modesty. And yes, it's a modesty attack. I even provided uh, something to support that, to back that up. And I'll just let this kind of set here while I chatter a little bit. And as you can see, all right. It goes pretty deep, people. I I never realized. I've not spent a lot of time delving into the fetish world. Okay? Some people would call that dark web. 
it's been around for like forever but when it comes to the internet all right it's more accessible of course all right that's that's my thought right there on here on the screen in case you do like I do and you'll get something playing and you don't see any action so you'll go to another tab right but right here's what you're looking at my thought about what Westboro is they are fetish sex fiends waiting to happen Westboro at VA fetish orgy Hot Wheels the world of wheelchair fetishists and disability devotees okay This one kind of explains that. Wheels one. The most commonly identified sexual attraction within devoteeism, which is another one I had never heard of, is amputation, specifically of the lower legs, paralysis, to quad, wheels a close second, and then a bunch of others. Westboro at sex fetishes and so I was wanting tags so I was trying to find um, search for different tags so when I upload this video and write my description I'm going to tag the daylights out of that thing all right there's got to be a way and because uh, it's sexually related sex related there's got to be a way by statute to keep them from going to the to the VAs to bother people who are trying to get well okay they're vulnerable you get well you've got to let your guard down and let the doctors do their work and the cures take hold and you know what I'm saying all right so how can they do that if they know there's a bunch of perverts outside wanting to jump their bones okay well, there like I started to say earlier there's so many different things that connect to the hospitals in this way <coughs> and I started to list them down here excuse me medical fetishism physical examination anesthesia fetishism okay that's a whole other realm of this okay some people eroticize about intimate examinations as part of a medical fetish and as such are a common service offered by professional dominance well I did have a friend in France who's now dead uh, Lisa cute cat face bum garden she'd written a couple books and we were pretty close in the email she would write me these humongously long emails and she was in um, uh, what was it called she was a bondage model she worked on Wall Street as an accountant for a while but her other job and she would leave one and go to the other because her business suit and attache case are also fetish related okay so she could leave work not even change clothes and walk right in to her next appointment which would be a sex model or a bondage model uh, appointment okay you see what I'm getting at these people are masking their fetishes I'm not even sure how to say that one I just know it's a philia coprophilia which goes it's the same thing as scat feces fecal poop it's a poop fetish my friends okay nurse fetish surgery fetish Japanese nurse and white pantyhose fetish sexy nurse shoes medical fetish boots Okay, medical fetishism. There's a Wikipedia on it. 
Can you even imagine? And this came on the TV, too, after I ate my brunch this morning. The shielding masking. And when I saw them, you see that smiley's on a, on a, a stick. It's a sign. A sign with a stick. I don't know if I can show you without playing the whole thing or not. See, she's got it there in her hand. And it just reminded me of Westboro and their signs on the sticks, you know. And Rexulti is um, antipsychotic. I already uh, Googled that this morning. I didn't really know that one either. Of course, when I went off of uh, the ID channel last night to find MASH on Sundance, I shut it off. It was on Sundance. I get up this morning. I turn it on. It's still on Sundance. Okay. So there's ads there that I, I hadn't seen while watching ID, like, most of the time. I had rarely, for a long time, gone off of the ID channel, uh, Investigation Discovery, um, because I don't know, I don't, maybe it's a fetish, let's not say that, <laughs> don't say that, <laughs> I mean, that, that is a fetish, there's a cop fetish, there's a handcuffs fetish, there's a billy club fetish. So that could even take it even farther on the BA one, which I thought of earlier but had forgotten. They've got guards. The guards are armed. They've got cuffs. That screams fetish. It screams it. So I'll be working on that to get this uh, all typed up here in a little while after this uploads. And well, I can type it in email and send it to myself so I have it ready and paste it on there you know I'm not professional but I thought when I got a hold of this idea this morning that man I was really on to something you know because that latent thought of uh, the guards you know some people go for the uniforms that's a uniform fetish same as with the doctors and nurse uniform fetishes uniform shoes too by the way Okay, so, and most of it goes back to a power trip. If they go in, if they, if they go for a guard or a cop, you know, that's a, a power trip. Like, my boyfriend's a guard at the VA, woohoo. My boyfriend's a cop, woohoo. You know, again, it is the woohoo that's going to do somebody in, that's all. So, with that, I'm going to terminate, and uh, wish me luck with the description. Thank you.